Full disclosure, this is my first time doing this, so uh, we'll see how it goes. I have a little hole and crack in my concrete at the bottom of a ramp. And normally I wouldn't care too much, but this ramp is used by my wife, who's in a wheelchair. And the hole is perfectly positioned that someday it might catch a wheel and mess things up as she's going down the ramp. Especially because I'm not totally sure she knows how to use her brakes. The hole's been here for a while and she usually just goes right over the top of it. But it still makes me nervous because at some point, a wheel might get caught and mess up her trajectory. So today we'll be filling up this hole, making it smooth on top, and uh, we'll see how it goes. Let's get started. So for this project, we have our hole to start with, kind of dirty at the moment. We have a trowel, an edger, a wire brush, some water, which I'll explain in a minute, and then this guy, a two-part cementaceous kind of uh, more like an epoxy cement solution made by Sika. And it says this bag, which I'll try to link down in the description, can cover a one square foot patch up to half an inch deep. So we should have enough for this. The problem here is that these aren't just screwed down, they are nailed straight into the cement. So I can't take off these bottom two rails. So we'll just have to put the new piece of cement right up against this bottom step. And I also have a vacuum to help clean that out. And it's cold right now, but it's not freezing. It's about 50 degrees Fahrenheit. So we should be able to get this set up because it only takes about an hour to cure or dry. Put a little piece of tape to protect this so no cement gets on it. And this right here is kind of like epoxy with uh, two parts to it. So we have liquid inside of this and the powder over here. But before we can break this, we want to wet down the surface that it's gonna be on. Not so much that there's like pools of water, but just so that it's surface wet. The reason we do that is because as this comes in contact with the cement it's supposed to be bonding to, if the cement is dry, it'll wick away that moisture and not let it adhere together. So if this is pre-wet, we should have a better bond with this new layer. The hole is quite a bit deeper though than I anticipated, so uh, we'll see how far this goes. And it says, you know, we mix it for about 20 seconds and this whole thing should start drying in about 30 minutes to an hour. So we don't have a whole lot of time. Just making sure there is no extra dry powder up here in the corners. Everything is mixed together. And I'm not saying you have to have a jerry rig knife for this next part, but it is very helpful. So we just need to get rid of one of these corners so we can pour out the mix. And I might sound like I know what I'm doing, but that's just what the instructions said. I ended up getting another bag so I could patch this side of the crack. So overall it was about a bag and a half and I have the rest sitting right there. After it dried for about 20 minutes, I gave it a little texture with a brush, just like the concrete around it. And overall not bad for about 12 bucks. I think you can use this same stuff to kind of like fill up other holes in concrete. Like whether you have, after removing concrete anchors or removing a post that was in a concrete pad, I think that's what this is for. Anyway, I'll let it continue drying for the next hour or two since it's kind of cold out. Might take a little bit longer than the hour it says it does. And we'll see how well it works for Cambry. So it's been about a week since we put the concrete at the bottom of the ramp and now we are gonna try it out for real. So previously when there was a hole there, did you have to actively avoid it or what was your thought pattern? I just went down the ramp and I tried to straddle the crack, but I wasn't always super aware of safety. Let's see if it works. I mean, you don't need to go 90 miles an hour, but... 
<laughs> was it a success? Two thumbs up. I think all wheels were on the ground at some point. So that is it. That is how to patch concrete with, I already forgot the brand name of that stuff, but I will link it down in the description. It's been about a week and that's the color that it looks like after a week. It was much darker right after I installed it. So I'm glad it's kind of blending in more with the concrete around it. I'll try to leave a pinned comment after about six months or a year or so, just to see if uh, the concrete has cracked or settled even more. Um, just keep you updated on the quality over time. And uh, since you're here, would you like to finish this off? Thanks a ton for watching. We'll see you around.